curly hair when you leave the ends kind of fried not fried but like dry you can end up with um like the curls don't bounce the way they're supposed to because the ends are like stuck together y'all know what i'm saying like if you have like kinks or coils like when your ends aren't trimmed the curls just be doing some weird stuff that's why i always cut and trim my curly hair because i get more bounce but right now i'm just gonna comb through it just to get those kinks and coils out because we about to cut it y'all know me i gotta cut it i gotta do it i don't care i don't care i don't care i got to because these ends like you can tell you see that that's not a good end who's there Hollering. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. Y'all know how I do. I like to start at the bottom of the head. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut the bottom. I'm gonna cut off only, I'm not trying to cut off a lot of length. I just wanna get the ends. See, I only cut off this much. I don't even know if that was all the hair girl. I don't know. I just take big sections like this and then I cut into them, trying to make sure I get most of the ends off. Do that make sense? So I'm gonna angle downwards and just cut like that. Still a little bit drier at the end. Like right now, the hair feels a wee bit dry. It do. So I'm gonna take this. As you can see, like this is the top part. So we need to cut that separately, but I'm gonna go in like this and cut downwards. This hair right here. I'm gonna take off these ends and I'm just gonna angle downwards. Oh, this got to be short in front. There you go. And I may go through one more time. Like this part right here is a little bit too dry for my taste. So I'm just gonna go back in one more time. One last trim and girl, that's it, I'm done. Like this part right here is short, but it's a little short and it's a little dry, just so you know. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, part at the back and then just angle downwards. I just eyeball it, girl. We're gonna do the same thing on this side that we did on the other side. No idea what it's gonna give after this. It looks like it's cute. <laughs> so next I'm just gonna go ahead and add my mousse. Y'all know I love using a mousse to really get the curls going on my curly wigs. The mousse I've been in love with lately is the the Dew Mousse Death Texture Foam. I love using this, but it's really creamy. Like it's a thick texture foam. So I started pouring it into this continuous spray bottle that I got from Amazon, adding a little bit of water to it, just to water it down a little bit. And then I'll top off the curls with this. I like to detangle with my trusty Evolve 572 brush. Had it for years and I still got combs on this. This thing is like crazy durable. I'm gonna separate the hair in two, like so. Pull it up, because we won't be using her for a minute, but we're gonna start on this side and I'm just gonna work in sections of oh, water and mousse first and spray it into the hair oh oh girl oh y'all know i'm not that's the only reason why i don't like using water because i hate getting wet Blech. and i'm gonna take my evolve 572 brush and just brush it through uh, to detangle it and get these curls encouraged i want y'all to listen how thick that is <laughs> baby oh that sound you can hear how rich it sounds so i apply it root to tip but i like to focus on the ends just to make sure i get like a really good curl at the ends the ends are the most important then I'll just comb through one more time and let me show you what these curls should be looking like. You see that? Juicy, full curls. Now that stuff is sticky, so I have a towel next to you, but I'm gonna do the same thing, working through the hair all the way up to Z side, okay?
Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Do y'all see this hair? It is so beautiful. And this was a super easy wig to toss on and go, girl. Like, look at the hairline. Look at the curls. The curls start from the ruta and end at the tuta. Oh, I like to call these BBL curls. Yes, very full, very juicy. It's got body. Like, look at that. What do y'all think? Are you in love with it as much as I am? Because I'm in love with it, girl. I'm about to propose to her. These are the curls. Let me show you what it looks like in the back. Ooh. Pros and cons, pros. Great parting space. You see, it's good parting space. I didn't even have to put concealer on the part. Great plucking on the hairline. And looks so realistic. The lace is a pretty good color. I like the tint on the lace. It looks good. The curls are gorgeous. The hair is bouncy. It's soft. Cons, I would say that the hair, once right after washing it, feels really dry and the ends are dry. So I do think it needs a cut. It needs a trim. And the little short areas up here, I didn't know what was going on up there. It was a little bit drier in the lace area. Um, all she needs is a little bit of cut, a little moisturization. She's ready to go. Anything else? So that's everything for this week. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, girl, because this is one for the books. Y'all know I love a good curly moment. Look at this hairline. Like, that hairline is everything. Y'all tell me what you think about this wig down below. I will leave a link for this unit down below. I also will leave a coupon code down below as well for you girlies that like to get some money off because it is holiday time. The girls need to be giving out sales. You need to take advantage of them, girl. Take all your money. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.